Well, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Cesar, and we are talking about BCH today. Shout out to the Dragon Riders in the House of the Dragon. This one comes to us at the request of Mr. Hat. Mr. Hat, you guys, he's clever. <clears throat> he's a clever one. He knows that if he requests BCH BTC, and I know that you know. I just want you to know that I know that you know. <laughs> when you request BCH BTC, you know you're getting BCH USD as well. It's just, it, it would be improper i think to talk about one but not not talk about the other one right so we're going to go over two different charts today bch usd and bch btc but the btc chart is the one at m hat's request so mr hat we're doing this for you we're going to start it off <clears throat> i'm pausing the music right now looking at the chart we're going a little bit lower aren't we and that's no surprise i think i've been calling for the uh BCH BTC chart to continue to, to drop just a little bit more, right? Where are we going? Let's see. Relative high. Nope, that's that's actually the low is what I meant to say. Relative low to relative high. Come on now. Yeah, look at that, right? We, we went down to our 0.5, ping-ponged, went up to our 382, rejected that. We're probably moving down to our 618, our golden ratio, to the to the 69, somewhere in that area, forming a higher low still. Um, nothing to be concerned with, in my opinion. But yes, we're probably moving down to about 0 0.00637 to 0 0.006 itself. I doubt we would go below this line, but I'm very, very much in the belief that we will go somewhere in this zone. Perhaps we tip that line at the bottom there. Perhaps we tip the line at the top. Perhaps we go right in the middle. I don't know. Somewhere, somewhere in between those lines, if not at least two of them, is what I think we're going to do. So time will tell. Time will definitely tell. Um, Man, it'd be really nice to actually bounce right off that 618, but I do think that we're going lower. I don't need this correlation on there. Let's see. The daily RSI looks sad. The price action looks sad. So, yes, I think it is going to go lower. Just a little bit more. That's all you got. Just a, li just, just a little bit more. And then we can talk. Yeah. Yep, yep. 0 0.006 at the lowest, but that 0 0.0065 area is looking frisky. 0 0.0637 area as well, right? All right. So that's that's the BTC or BCH BTC chart. Um, I will go over something real quick though, just in inspiration to some of the comments that I've read recently, because uh, I talk about some crazy prices sometimes right like my last bch video i think was titled bitcoin cash 69k or something like that um, from this relative high to relative low here it, this is all dependent on, on what we do okay what we do for the uh the remainder of this cycle but if we have a positive reaction with the 618 the 69 zone the golden ratio zone which we haven't done yet right we haven't had an, an interaction with this zone yet based off this uh, last cycle high to the cycle low that we just had versus BTC. If we have a positive reaction with this zone, and I think we will, I think we will. I think right now what we're forming is some kind of ascending triangle actually. And I think when we break out of this, I don't think we're going to stop here. I think, I think we're going to go past it. Whatever it might look like though, even if we do stop here and we pull back to the breakout point and then move up, whatever. If we can react positively with with this zone and again reacting positively could look like a rejection and then a pump on the second one it doesn't have to be just a straight breakthrough straight breakthrough would be would be nicer to see but uh oh did i pause the music i did um <clears throat> when we react positively with this zone here this zone becomes our target right here right that's between about five percent to ten and a half percent okay so Let's assume, for, for me, my lowest target for Bitcoin, BTC, because that's what this is based in, right? My lowest target's at 174 or 178K, I forget. That's, that's my lowest target for Bitcoin by the end of this cycle. So let's, let's just say it's like 170K, okay, to keep things roughly uh, like rounded, 170. 5% of 170 <coughs> is... Was that uh, eight and a half k? Essentially, that's five percent, right? Because ten percent would be seventeen k out of one seventy. Five percent's half of that, which would be eight and a half k. So eight and a half k there, 
and then 10% at 170 would put you at about 17K, okay? That's my smallest price prediction. I'll tell you what, guys, if we hit 7K for BCH, we're not gonna stop at 7K. We're, we're not stopping there, we're going higher. We're going at least to 10K. There's more targets around 10 to 13K than there is around six to five to 7K. You know, if we, if we hit 7K, which that that's what that would say, if Bitcoin's minimum price was achieved as its all time high for this next cycle at 174, that's what this is saying, that the, that the, that the price would be at about seven and a half thousand dollars. If the high for BCH comes in at the same time as the high for BTC, right? If the high that I'm assuming, the highest assumption in the price targets is achieved that I'm thinking for, for Bitcoin, which I think is closer to half a million dollars by the end of this cycle. Let's call it 4.5 uh, or 450 mil, uh, billion, 450 billion dollar market cap, right? Um, no, no, I'm, I'm so sorry, guys, I'm, I'm crazy. $450,000 price. Let's call it $450,000 in price. 5% of that would be roughly like $22,500, right? Like roughly, roughly, right, right? Am I doing that right? 450, 22 and a half, yes, that's right. Yeah, 22, so it'd be 22 and a half K, where up there, that put us at like $40,000, above above $40,000, right? Like 45 plus thousand dollars. Um, just to show you guys where my head's at, I, I went on a little bit of a detour here, but just to show you where the targets are, if we interact with this area, specifically the uh, 1.28% to 1, 1 1.5% zone of a BTC, if and when we react positively with this, it's not an opinion anymore, it's, it's a probability. It's not guaranteed, it's not certain, nothing ever is. But right now, this is a possibility, this zone. When we, when we react positively with this, it's not a possibility anymore. It still is a possibility, but it's a probability. The likelihood goes up tremendously, okay? And if that's our likelihood, if the minimum is 5%, I mean, there are a lot of people who think that me calling for prices at 20K or higher are crazy. A lot of you are calling for prices at like 2K to 6K, and I think that's crazy. Bitcoin would have to achieve a lower price by its FIB extensions than it's ever seen before for us to not at least see a 7.5K price for BCH. And, I, and I'm already telling you guys, and this is where we're going to go over the BCH USD part. 7.5K, if we go to 7.5K, we're not stopping there. We're not stopping there, but let's, let's do that now. So BCH USD. It sounds crazy, guys. It sounds crazy now. And I know I know to a good bit of you, there's it doesn't sound crazy. You're like, this is about overdue. It's our time to shine, and I'm with you. But to me, it, it sounds crazy calling for a 2K top this cycle for BCH. It sounds crazy calling for anything less than 13K to me sounds crazy. But relative high to low here. Oh, I got to go check on my daughter. I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back, people. All right, so uh, let's see. Minimum target here would be 3,650, 5,540. <clears throat> okay, based off of this fib from the last cycle's high to last cycle's low. Your 1618 is at $10,000. Now, I'm going to briefly make the case as to why I think these should not even be considered, even though, generally speaking, they are uh, uh, something to be taken uh very seriously. And I do think we could find significance at these areas. You know, I think that we could, I just don't think that's where we're going to top. But in short, my, my reasoning for believing that we're not going to stop there is that Bitcoin cash and Bitcoin before August of 2017 were the exact same coin, right? It was a hard fork. Bitcoin cash is not the lesser it's not a boil it's not a, a zit on bitcoin that grew off and became its own thing no it's it's the same you took you took it you cut it in half you split it it diverged from essentially this this at time forward okay so that i think that's essential to understand when comparing what bch technically has done in its past too um from a high to a low 2272 was the minimum target for those of you that have watched the channel time and time again, you already know you already know this. Uh, this is like ingrained in everybody's heads. But high to low here, cycle high to cycle low there, two two seven two. You you went just above it, but right around that area nonetheless, right? Last cycle was the lowest grade that you got on the Fib extensions that you've ever seen from high to low. That was at the one six one eight. Okay, so with that in mind. With that in mind, this is this is cycle to cycle stuff, right? From our last cycle high to our last cycle low, the minimum expectation that I would have is 10K based off of that fib in itself. If we take the all-time high to the all-time low fib, the minimum extension is at 13K. The 1414 is in line with the 1886. They're very, very near each other. And that's why I really like this 20 to 23K area. Also pairing that with the idea <clears throat> that Bitcoin itself, BTC, during that 2017 bull cycle saw a very similar run from very similar prices all the way up to about 20K, right? I'm just calling for essentially the same thing we've done before. And you can compare this cycle to the 2017 cycle for BTC. We're moving up faster. We're moving up faster and with more volume right now. So, um it's it's stronger this this is stronger in bch right now in comparison to where btc was in those same prices when it ran up to 20k we are stronger and earlier in the cycle um than we were last time right anyways anyways um looking at the more immediate price targets and i want to make sure yes i did okay cool you guys i'm not gonna lie <laughs> i messed my toe up <laughs> it's not good, it's, but it's okay. I messed my toe up going to check on my daughter there. It uh, it stings a little bit, but that's okay. It's <laughs> it's funny, man. Um, it's not bad. I didn't break anything. I'm just like it's like I scuffed my toe up just a little bit. I didn't stub it. I think I'd, I'd rather do what I did. I'd rather scratch some skin off than stub it. But anyways, um, relative high to low here. Enough talking about my toes. Uh, rejecting the golden retracement zone. Getting above it, though. Not going to lie, but that's a, that's a pretty harsh uh, rejection afterwards. I would say you are showing respect. And you, you are and you aren't. Lower volume on that move. That might be why it wasn't valid. Um, looking at the weekly RSI, 
you're still in a nice place. As long as you're above the 50, I think you're fine. Even if you go below the 50, you know, you could you could hit your 40 and be fine. But that kind of maneuver would imply that we see potentially dramatically lower prices. Like you, you guys think that my price calls for 370 to 380, 360 are too low. If the RSI were to go for the 40, which it could do and still look fine, we would be seeing prices around 300, even potentially below $300. Um, which would still be a higher low on this kind of scale. So that still wouldn't be bad either, but I'm not calling for that. Uh, daily RSI. Daily RSI is looking fine, though that hidden bearish divergence is there. I was saying in yesterday's video, whenever I was unfazed by this 8% move that we had, um, that, it, that it was dependent on that day's price. If we close red, this hidden bearish divergence would uh, look legit. We have a high here, a higher high, and a higher high. While in price, we have a high, a lower high, and a lower high. Hidden bearish divergence generally marks continuation of a trend. When you're in a trend, which is lower highs and lower lows, if you just had your lower high, continuation would imply a lower low is to come. Imply. It doesn't mean it's guaranteed. It's just the probability, right? Uh, and that's all TA is, is basing it off of probabilities, what you see in the charts. Closing above the 382 one day and then getting back below it the next day is not a good look in my opinion. Um, it kind of, the amount of candle that you gave back in just one day proves, it, it doesn't prove, but it does strongly suggest what I was saying in yesterday's video, which is that this candle I think is, is just there to psych you out. It's just a lower high. It, there's no volume backing it. It's, it's just a bull trap. Um, and from this low to this high, I would expect, and seeing that the BCH BTC chart is probably going down as well. I think it's safe to assume that 376 to 350 is on the table. I want to see real quick because I have an idea as to where I think Bitcoin's going to go, right? From its current price, I'm thinking it could go down probably around here. Let's just say 55K, 16%. Okay, so that's 16%. Come here now. This isn't going to work if I'm not precise with it. So yeah. Yeah, man, that, that checks out, guys. That really does check out. BCH, BTC. I'll show you how to do the math for yourself in case you, uh, you ever want to do this. But BCH, BTC, right? And this isn't the most foolproof way of doing... Uh, this kind of analysis, but just bear with me. If I'm thinking it goes to the 61869 zone, that's at about 0 0.006. Let's let's do it percentage-wise, okay? So that'd be a negative 6% versus Bitcoin to a negative 11%. So 6 to 11% would just essentially mean that you add that on. So if Bitcoin's looking like it's going to drop 16%, we would add 6 to 11, which would be anywhere from 22% to... Uh, why can't I do this? 27, 22 to 27%, right? Um, if we go back to BCH now, USD, look at that, 22% right there at the 1618. And it can achieve, it can achieve the disparity in BCH to BTC um, without seeing a 27% drop in this price. Like you don't need to go just because that, that would be how you would do it, right? Again, if if Bitcoin cash to BTC, I hope this, this part's making sense. I know whenever I go over numbers, when anybody goes over numbers, it's confusing. But all this means essentially, if you're looking at it, right, is that we have the potential for BCH to lose 11, let's call it 12%. 6 to 12% versus Bitcoin. So essentially, imagine in your head, Bitcoin Cash is going to lose 6 to 12% versus Bitcoin. That's what's projected. We don't know if that's going to happen, but that's just, that's the projection. Okay, so 6 to 12%, it'll lose versus Bitcoin. If Bitcoin moves down 1% and Bitcoin Cash were to lose 6% versus Bitcoin on the same day that Bitcoin went down 1%, Bitcoin Cash moved down 7% versus US dollars. It moved down 6% versus Bitcoin, but 7% total. You see you see what you do there? You just add it. That's it. It's, it's simple math. Um, it might be a confusing concept, but that's essentially how it works. I'm pretty sure. Like I'm, the, the math checks out in my opinion, but I could be wrong, but I'm, I'm fairly positive that's actually how you do it. So 6% to 12% there. If BTC is going to drop, I would assume 16% 
about there, then an extra six to twelve percent would be twenty-two to twenty-eight uh, percent. That's that's the total, right? And so that twenty-two twenty-eight percent that's reflected in BCH USD as well. However, what what I'm getting at also is that BCH it doesn't work exactly the way I'm talking about it, right? Because BCH BTC might go down because Bitcoin's going up and BCH is going up too, but at less of a rate, right? Um, BTC could go up a couple percent where BT BCH stays at a neutral and that would still be a drop on this price. So it doesn't necessarily mean what I'm trying to get to, as confusing as I'm probably making it sound, it doesn't mean that you would have to drop 27%, 28% from the current price uh, and technically 22%. You know, that's that's like a rough estimate. But being that these numbers here, this 1618 is pretty close to that 22% already. And then this in itself is about 15 to 16%. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Looking at the, uh, the BCH BTC chart, this does have me a little bit more nervous for the BCH price. I do accept that 350 area a little bit more than I thought going into tonight, but uh, at this point in time, I'm still holding true to that 365, 380 zone because I do I do think that there can be some mishaps in the BCH BTC uh, chart. Maybe not mishaps, but just like it's not as clean cut as I'm making it out to be. Where if if BCH drops 10% versus BTC, that we would see that completely reflected in the price. I mean, you would see it completely reflected in the price, but would it be as cut and dry as I'm making it out to be here? Would it be that extra bit from this current price, or could BTC and BCH go up from here? BCH just goes up less, that therefore the BCH BTC chart goes down, and then you're dropping from a higher price to get that same total negative prospect. I don't I, I don't know how much sense that makes, but uh, <laughs> that's the best I got, I guess. All I'm trying to say, guys, is through this analysis, I think it's entirely possible that we could even see prices lower than $350. We could. I'm not anticipating that, but it's possible it should be put on your radar. I got nothing else to say, man. That's that's really all I got to say. So if you guys like the video, hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see more. I'm absolutely unfazed by this BCH move yesterday, uh, moving up 8%. <clears throat> absolutely unfazed. Um, I, I had a couple people... Uh, you know, laughing. They, they, they wrote all their comments yesterday. I'm wondering where their comments will be today um, or tomorrow even, or, you know, over the, over the coming days um, as prices continue to drop. But I could be wrong, you know, and I, I will accept defeat essentially if we can get above what was the price here from high to low. If you can get above, yeah, if you can get above $500 and close above that on a daily basis, I'll accept defeat. There's still the 100% possibility that you could go lower still. It, it, it'd be weird, but you could. Um, but the likelihood would be more to the upside than it would be to the downside. If you can close a day, multiple days actually, I'd like two days to close, if not one week to close, above $500. Do that and I will wave the white flag of defeat. I know Smooth Operator doesn't want that. He wants me to continue being bearish because if I'm bearish, the price is gonna go up, as, uh, as Smooth would say. <clears throat> Or resale, reseller, Bay Boy. Um, but yeah, man, there's there's some of you out there that that are celebrating this little this little pump, and uh, it's like I don't know eight percent, man. If I'm calling for prices to go down, which I have been calling for prices to go down since this day here, okay. Have they gone down a hundred percent of the time? You know, like was I wrong in assuming that prices were going to go down? Whenever we pumped up here, was I wrong here? Was I wrong here? Am I going to be wrong here? I, I could have been wrong at any of those points. I could be wrong with this one. But I'm just saying, everyone got all excited about a lower high yesterday. That's what convinces me that we're, we've got lower to go. When you're getting excited about lower highs, you haven't seen enough pain. It's when we get a higher high and people are skeptical. That's when I'm like, yes, we've capitulated. We're going. We're doing. But... uh. I just I don't think we're there yet. And that's proof in the pudding too with the crypto fear and greed index. You guys were at a 70. We dropped. We dropped yesterday. And we're at a seven. We went we went up. We went up in greed. How do we how are we more bullish after dropping? How are we more more bullish after fading the area that we needed to actually see some growth come to? I, not just on BCH, but BTC too, you know? Like 
66K was the level we needed to break and already we've closed back below it. However, we are pretty damn close to it. We are hovering there, but anyways, that's, that's a video for another, or that's a topic for another video. Anyways, hit that like button, subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Shout out to all the Dragon Riders and the House of the Dragon. You guys are the shit. And I will see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.